What is going on everybody? I think that was the best flank I hit on the entire new map stranded here. Today we're going to talk about the map specifically and uh, my two cents on whether I think the map is good or not and how it plays with today's meta and the current bugs in the game that kind of cause some issues and break things and things not working, not regging, not being registered, uh, Rao doing some things he shouldn't be doing. But anyways, let's just get into it. So talking about the map itself, okay, the map design outside of the first sector is actually pretty well done. I'm pretty happy with how it is for infantry CQC like fights all over the place. There's plenty of cover, there's plenty of little spots you can get behind and reset yourself and try to get back into the fight. Uh, as you can see in this kind of rat spot here, there's plenty of these spots all over the map inside of the ship. So a little bit too much verticality play in the ship itself. There's some sectors where, you know, just shipping containers galore. Uh, outside of that, I mean, I, I do like how it is designed for infantry close quarters fights. But too many rats, uh, too many little crevices you can stick yourself in and have a cheeky spot to get, uh, you know, a few cheese kills here and there. But... Uh, for the map play itself for flow, the flow is a little weird and not really designed for the attacking team to push right towards the sector. So on the outside, there is enough cover to break the space, and I am happy with how the spawn system is made for defense to be a little closer uh, along with the spawn beacons the other team can use to stay close to the site itself. But right now, with how it is direct line of sight, most cover is in the middle of the map, and then you've got this big hill to the right, and a lot of the attacking team members seem to congregate that way. So it's a little wonky. It doesn't kind of set the pace, and almost feels like there's quote-unquote no cover when there actually is, just that the gameplay is so drawn to the right side of the map for the attackers. No one's really trying to push onto the helipad itself. So a little bit of an issue when you're trying to play aggressive, take the point for your team and have them push. Sometimes you kind of got to talk and chat or spam smoke so people actually run off the hill onto the point with you. But anyways, coming down to the uh, issues with the game itself, right? So there's a lot of bugs on the map. I've seen a lot of floating crates, a lot of half map cuts, things like that. Normal things that we've seen on some of the other maps. Uh, on other wonky things are the all three new weapons. So the F-51, the Avon, and the AM-40 all do headshot multiplier for the smg as we all know that got nerfed down to 1.25 from two so they all do 1.25 meaning the avon does 35 to the head and the am40 does 27.5 that is not correct the devs did address my question on twitter and it is going to get fixed in a quote unquote later patch so expect that not to get fixed until next month great anyways uh, the other big problem that we have here, which you'll see later on in these clips with the M16 LVG grenade launcher, okay? Before I even get into that, let's talk about Rao's problem. Rao actually proxy spots enemy players if they destroy equipment on the ground within 15 meters. So if you destroy a turret, a APS system, a beacon, anything, a box, whatever it is, if you're within 15 meters of that specific equipment, Rao will proxy spot you, so now you get 3D spotted like Pick would do. So, pretty, pretty silly. Um, as for the guns themselves, the AM40, the Avon, and the PF51 would be great if uh, the headshot multipliers weren't bugged. So come in here, this is the big elephant in the room. These clips, these last couple of clips here in the video, the LVG on the M16 does not register as a projectile in the game, meaning that it does not get blocked by Irish's APS. So you can spam these things and hit anything. Not only that, they bounce, you know, so it's, it's kind of a little PTSD action from lockers back in the day. They do whatever they want. They don't care. It doesn't matter. They don't register as an actual projectile. So they kind of just fly around and kill everything that you aim at. Oh, and by the way, uh, you get six of these when you uh, reload from the Angel Crate. 
That's all I really have to cover with the map. Overall, I think the map is about a 7.5 out of 10. It needs some little re rework with the first sector for Breakthrough. Um, other than that, I don't have too many complaints. It's just the meta is so bad right now that the gameplay is very clustered, very explosive heavy, very 3D spot heavy. Pake is still being used even though she's nerfed, and that's fine. Less players are using her, but that's still an issue. You know, There will always be issues with the wall hack. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section below or in Discord or in the Twitter. Uh, links to all my socials are in the comments as well. And then you're always welcome to send me any questions, any comments, concerns, anything else that you'd want to see in future videos. Just let me know and we'll get on it. Until then, guys, catch you in the next one. Let's <laughs> go.